Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about a, a different topic because when I was looking for a review about this product, I cannot find anything in YouTube or internet. Uh, I only found like a smeg uh, official like a commercial video to promote this but like a person who's really reviewing this I never saw someone doing this so if you're like me who's looking for a review or like an answer if this would be the perfect kettle for you so I hope this would be helpful so this is the smeg mini kettle so I think this is like their um, a 50 style so I wanted a mini one because before I did have like a big kettle but I noticed I only normally use only 500 ml or less or some very rare occasion one liter if ever I need something for like cooking and things like that for a recipe. So I decided to get this because I don't need like a very big kettle I just need a small one that I can use like every now and then and now that I did buy like um, like a coffee that I need something like this or I will start to drink tea again uh, because I I did uh, give away the, my old kettle because it was made um, I think 100% plastic and I didn't want plastic anymore but I did look this up some parts are plastic but not like everything hopefully let's see what's inside because I try to find something i didn't find anything that is everything is not plastic but if you know something just uh, let me know as well so this is really a cute box so i wanted a smeg for a very long time i noticed when you get older you try to buy like really good kitchen stuff because i don't know it's just like also nice to look at in the kitchen and yeah i i hope because of the price uh it will last longer so i bought this for 100 seven euro and 50 cents so it's okay let's see hopefully i will certainly update you after three months six months or one year depends uh whichever i can remember doing but if you're really curious if you want to invest in this i hope this would be helpful so i did choose this shade so this is the beige one i almost got the pink but it i noticed it's too bright pink it's too much in my kitchen i already have a pink uh, sensei your coffee machine but um, the pink of the smeg is too bright so I don't they will clash in my kitchen so I just decided to get a beige I think this would be like mostly the kitchen accessories I buy now I do have a kitchen aid like a mixer which is um, beige so yeah let's open this so it's just like this uh, okay I, I will just check later so it's really, I thought it would be sealed, but it's not sealed, I hope. Okay. Why I cannot open this? Ah, okay, like this. So it comes with a manual. Think with different and or guarantee of so <laughs> and this like a protection and it just looks like this oh it's really tiny oh it's so cute it's like a like a protection like for bags as well the oh the base so remove this so they are it's so cute oh this is also plastic everything is plastic and this is so cute it's so small oh my god okay but it's heavy i i did look at the other reviews of the the bigger version of this and they said it's already heavy when it's not, it's empty so i didn't want that because i don't know even my iron i don't want it heavy so it looks like this in the bottom and i'm i'm afraid that this will be um going off uh, soon because i noticed the big ones a lot of reviews said after a few months this uh, was uh, it fell off because it it this side can be too warm but hopefully not so let's put it in the base ah so it's it can move around 360 degrees and what is the difference of this with the uh, i'll just uh, zoom you in maybe what's the difference it's not really shown how beige it is it's just almost like a dirty 
like uh, white white so and the difference of the big one there's no like measurement that you can see here and uh, on and off is just like that and also the opening the big one is like you need to you press it and it has like soft close opening but this i think you just need to put it like that and it's like this inside so it has only like maximum minimum i just i don't need uh, anything um fancier than that it's a bit scratched inside and the filter is like this what i like about this because if the other one has a plastic filter which i didn't like uh because it uh yeah i i wanted uh less plastic as possible inside so this is just like a stainless steel this also stays, this is plastic here so that's the sad part but mostly inside is stainless steel which i'm happy my older one like the cheap one is like plastic which i i just realized that i should have not done that but yeah this is really pretty and look if you see my hand it's really so tiny and which i love and the grip is really good it's easy yeah i just didn't want like complicated or just like a uh, functioning small and yeah cute uh, what to, uh, a kettle so now we will try how long it takes to boil this I think I'm just wash uh, I'm just gonna wash a bit inside like a bit of soap and then we will turn this on so now I did already rinse it with soap I tried to rinse it a couple of times until the like the sod or the bubbles are gone so now and I will already plugged the 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 wire of this and now we will um, add water and I have my phone for timer and then we shall see how fast it is and how it looks when you pour it in a mug I also have a mug here so we shall see I'm just getting ready my timer because when you're sometimes in a hurry you need like um, or a stopwatch we need to I need a reliable like this I didn't have it for I think months now because I gave my old one away so normally I use a filtered water like from I think this is Brita because um, in Belgium the water here is really hard and if you use like direct from the faucet it will destroy your like coffee machine because they will um, the calc I think that's in English also the calc um, it will like uh, destroy your machine because they would uh, form uh, direct or like they will form and I think it's not good for your machine so that's why I every time I use a kettle I always use this or in my uh, coffee machine so we will pour it it's just easy to open as well so if it's easier for you, you just put it like that so I'll try to put the minimum should I do like that okay maybe we try the minimum and then the maximum how long it will take so that's that's inside the minimum so we close it's better like that it's really handy and then we turn wait I need to ready my phone as well and start we okay I pressed the wrong one uh, so this makes light if you see that it's also not that noisy so when your like partner or your kids or whoever you live with uh, are still sleeping and you need to drink a tea or like coffee in the morning I don't think this would really bother them so now it's 46 seconds already. It's it's a bit long huh, for a, for a minimum water. So I think that was like one one minute and 35 seconds because I I pressed it wrong earlier. So it's okay, I think. It's not that bad. 
So we will try to pour it if it like leaks or something like that when you pour it in a mug. I will feel if it's warm. Oh, it's not that warm. Mm, it's okay. That's good. Because I know the big ones, they said like it really can be so warm. So as you see, it pours really nice without a problem. Oh, I love that. So this is how the mini, I mean the minimum water, so it's good for like one cup of tea. So yeah, I really, I love that. And yeah, it's still not warm. So let's see how long will it take for a maximum. And should I wait because it's already warm inside so you'd really test how long it will take when it's not totally warm inside. So I'll wait a bit probably five minutes or something like that and then we will uh, warm it again so now we filled inside the mac so it's um it's not warm anymore i waited i think almost more than 10 minutes i think just to cool down so we know how exactly long will it take when you just uh, when you fill it with a max level so i like how big also it's it's a mini but you can pour really good with water if if you prefer to pour from the faucet you have amp ample space you don't need to like because some opening is like this so it's a bit hard to um, get water from the faucet but because it's like this you have plenty of space and you will not have a hard time doing that so now we will try to um, turn this on and it, you just need to click like that now I need to prepare my timer Or my stopwatch so let's let's turn this on Not making sound. Is it on? <laughs> Strange, that machine, it's not making sound. Ah, no, I hear it. So after almost 1 minute 30 seconds, now I hear it boiling. I like the sound, it's not really that loud. Let me see. So that was 3 minutes and 40 seconds. So when you use a maxi or when you use it till maximum uh, level, so it could take a while, but uh, for me I don't really will I I will never do that I think because I we never drink that much and also we never have visitors, so or very rare like once in a blue moon so it should be okay so i will pour it in like a measuring cup so we, so we know how much it is if it's maximum um level so this is my pyrex um measuring cup or i don't know how you call that so we shall wait it's a bit hard i'll go so this round so I'm glad that the closing part is really secure so you don't like open it 
when you're pouring it will not open or anything like that so let's see the maximum so it's like 900 oh, okay you don't see that good so here if you see it's 900 ml almost a liter so really a good size right so if i feel it it's okay it's not like you're gonna burn yourself when you touch it oh i will never touch that for sure it will be and uh, here is also you can touch it oh here is a bit warm and this it's really i love the handle it's easy to grab and you know you can i love that that you, it can turn 360 degrees and also they said you can the base you can if the wire is too long you can just you can curl this around or here there's a place to make it shorter and they said this is an anti-slip a base which i can see because of the plastic here you see that so when you're doing it it will not move around so it's really secure if you see that oh look it's it stays it stays put so that's a good nice touch to it and also um they said if you accidentally turn this on and there's no water inside there's like an automatic um it will automatically turn off when that happens so that's a great um, great feature that they did and they said oh now I know calc is like scale so you know if you notice in your like a boiling or a kettle there's like white, white forming in the middle of their uh, in the base here there but they said you can just add like I think half liter of water and then vinegar and let it stay for uh, like overnight and then I think the following day I think you need to boil it I'm, I'm not quite sure I, I will see here it says here fill the kettle with water 5 to uh, 0.5 to 0.6 liters and boil it add white vinegar 0.1 to 0.2 depending on the amount of scale and then leave it to act overnight empty the kettle fill the kettle with water and boil it and uh, empty the kettle is posting the water safely okay this vinegar is really a great product i also just recently discovered that you can clean with it for almost everything and yeah i think that's all that's important i'm really happy with this it's so cute i will try to make i will try to film this during like uh, with natural light so you know how beautiful the color of this you see the beauty of this during like daylight and how it looks in my kitchen and things like that so i'm happy i have a kettle now that's functional and really pretty as well and i can enjoy my coffee or my tea with this because i did buy like a new kind of coffee that you need to add boiling water also so yeah i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions please do let me know and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up it will help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel it will mean so much to me so yeah i know youtube is mostly i review makeup but i think this would be helpful sometimes if i um review like appliances at home which everyone is really uh, it could help someone like me who's curious if it's good or not before buying them because this uh, is really expensive as well. So I'm happy I have this and it really looks good as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I see you in my next one. Bye!